Hello everyone, it's Aster bringing you another haul video. Today's haul is from a local toy store. Um, they don't just sell toys, they sell like movies, video games, uh, candy, snacks, uh, old uh, vinyl records cassettes just a bunch of old stuff and it's like stuff from the 80s and 90s so it's pretty much your childhood um but i love that place i just love it and i spend way too much in there uh but i had um gotten my christmas money from my mom uh she knows now to give me money because then i can buy what i want so it just works out that way but uh i spent quite a bit um in this place i actually don't have the receipt which is weird i could have sworn i told her to give me a receipt um it'll turn up around here somewhere but i'm most of this stuff is priced the only thing that isn't is this uh, mystery box which i'll open at the end this is what it looks like but yeah so most of it's priced so let's get through this um i got this uh sailor moon archival trading cards set it sits cards per pack or well i guess it's a pack not a set um collect all 72 trading cards in the randomly inserted nine collectible game chase cards this is from 2000 and it was $3. I always like to buy Sailor Moon when I can. Uh, this one is uh, cute. This is a Hallmark keepsake ornament, copy of Cheer. It's $5, uh, it's still in the box. And this is the Cranberry Copier from 1992. I have a fats machine from like 1992 or 1993. Oops, did I say 1992? I meant 1990. Um, I think I was thinking of the fats machine. But yeah, I have the fats machine and it um, actually plays um, a message from Santa. I, I've never actually used it, so I don't know if it still works, but yeah. So I got this because it's kind of in the same vintage electronics line, so I got that. Uh, next I had to get this because it's one of the last remaining Goosebumps that I don't own. This is number 56 Goosebumps, The Curse of the Camp Cold Lake. And this one was two dollars and it interestingly enough still has the bookmark and the trading cards in it. And most of the goosebumps that I get no longer have the trading cards or bookmarks or anything else still in them. They're usually torn out so I was super happy to get this that still has it. Um, yeah. Next we have these two cuties. I love um, All Dogs Go to Heaven and um, I really love the All Dogs Christmas Carol and I did not know that they came out with these things but these are from Denny's. I guess it was a Denny's promotional thing. Uh, these are from 1998 and we have Itchy and Scratchy, right? Or no, itchy and scratchy. Itchy and scratchy are from. <sighs> it's been a long day. Itchy and scratchy are from uh, The Simpsons. This is Itchy and Charlie. Uh, both of them were five dollars. They still have their tades on them. So yeah, they're in good shape. I just love the movies. So I, when I saw these two, I was like, I have to have them. <laughs> 
this is something I never even knew came out either. So this guy is from Home Alone and it's Kevin McAllister and this is $15 and I did not know this but he has a strain on his back like a old-fashioned pull toy so I don't know if he still works let's give a listen he does not still work oh my gosh oh no okay I will never pull that string again oh wow that's bad um yeah he was $15 okay yeah it looks kind of creepy too. Okay, I might have bought a haunted doll. I don't know. <laughs> uh, next up we have some VHS. Ugh. Um, these were two dollars each. We have a Charlie Brown Christmas. The Santa Claus. Tim Allen. Awesome movie. And then Scrooge with Bill Murray. Then last up, I believe this was $10. Uh, she said that um, on her Instagram that it would be $10, so I have to hope it was, since I don't have the receipt, but um, trying to figure out how to open this. Okay. Okay, I'm getting it. I'm s I'm slowly getting it. Okay. So this thing is um, a little tag, and it's a pod tag. It's Seasons Best from the Warehouse. It was from 1994, and it's a like Christmas tag. Limited edition collector series. Collect all eight when you rent from the warehouse. I don't know what the warehouse is. I'm gonna have to look it up. It might have been a local rental store or something. I'm not sure. Okay, what do we have in here? Uh, we have a handful of candy canes. Many candy canes, four to be exact. I hate candy canes, so no thank you. We have a single Garbage Pail Kids card from 1987, Dead End Kit, in a little protective baby. Various holiday candies. I guess there was more holiday candy in there. More holiday candy. Uh, we have Rad Dudes trading cards, 10 Rad Dude trading cards from 1990. Still sealed in its wax pack. We have a hefty Coca-Cola Happy Holidays ornament. Um, no year, but I'd assume it's from the 90s or possibly the 80s. It's like a ceramic. It's kind of cute. We have a keychain and it's a cassette tape. The Grinch stole, how the Grinch stole Christmas official trading cards, 10 cards per pack. This is from, two thousand. I have no idea. Uh, we have some Fun Dip, Raz Apple Magic Dip. 
I'm guessing they're like they're supposed to be for wristbands or something, but they're way too small for me. We have a Uh, and, uh, the, I don't know, the, the sn snowman creature, dude. It's from 2017, so it's not all old stuff. Uh, Rubik's Cube. A Peanuts uh, little badge. Fruit Stripe gum. More of these strawberry candies. And a Pixar Monsters Boo figurine. So, is this worth $10? No. Um, I know th her packs of cards are usually like... I want to say $2 each, so that's $4. This should probably, I don't know, maybe five dollars on this. So, I guess it's sort of worth ten dollars. Hopefully, it really was ten dollars because I don't think this is a very good mystery pack. But these mystery packs, you know, are they good? Are they worth the money? Probably not. But. I like doing it because it's a surprise, you know, maybe there's something good in there. So, yeah. Um, I don't know what I ended up spending. Uh, probably 50-something or more. But, uh, yeah, I got some interesting stuff. Uh, like the haunted doll. Um, and some various Christmas items, so... For the most part, I was happy. This was a bit of a letdown, unfortunately, but yeah, what you gonna do? So that's it. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I'll see you in the next one.